Hi everybody, okay this is another video, this time I'm makeuping my cousin Linda for her engagement. Um, I already started on the eyes, it's just a normal bronze smoky eye and I'm currently doing her foundation which is a combination with my cat and my MAC Pro Longwear foundation. And I'm just using a buffing brush to buff this in and yeah. Then I decided to put some concealer under her eyes and this is the color NW25, it's a MAC Pro Longwear concealer. Um, it's a great concealer for weddings because it just covers everything, it's very light and it photographs beautifully. And of course covering around her nose because she had some redness around her nose, it's quite important to just cover it up um, with the concealer so everything looks very very one um, toned and also covering some spots that she needed um, and just going reapplying that um, thinking where you need to cover you don't have to cover the whole face only places where she needs it and of course setting it with a compact powder this is just to add extra coverage and also to set the concealer under her eye because you want to avoid any concealer running out and it just helps with the whole setting of it and lasts long perfectly and Linda already has good skin so I didn't really have to do a lot of um, concealing with her. And then of course lashes, uh, this is a quite common lashes that I've been using and I bought it at Hair Depot. Uh, it's one of those lashes that you buy for uh, 20 set of uh, 10 sets for 25 ringgit. It's a good buy and it's very light and I just use a glue with it. And also um, I like to uko slash um, try and get the right size for her eyes so I'm like just doing that and applying on the other side too carefully um, you know this lash is good because it doesn't really um, overpower the makeup it's very nice and light and fluttery and then I'd like to add some pink to the smoky eye this is my trick any smoky eye I like to try add some warmness to the eye um, especially at the crease area um, she doesn't really have a prominent socket but that's the pink will help warm up the whole of the look and it just gives a nice touch of softness, romanticness of the whole eye because sometimes browns and black can be really 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 um, thick so you know adding the pink is just a beautiful touch just to put the whole look together and you will see like a big difference to the eye makeup and this is a NYX blusher I'm not using a pink eyeshadow, I'm using a blusher with my 217 um, MAC brush. Of course, don't forget the eyeliner. The eyeliner is so important. Um, I like to, as as you can see, I put the eyelash first, then only I put in the eyeliner. And there's a Clinique gel eyeliner, uh, which is totally dry already. I need to buy a new one, but yeah, it's a good eyeliner. It's a good gel liner. You should totally get it. And of course, you know, I'm using a very defined small brush for this it has an angle so it's easier to apply your eyeliner especially if you're applying it on yourself so you should check that out I think a lot of stores are having it and of course don't forget to contour those cheeks um, I'm using any um, contour powder you can use anything I was using my paint box that I got from school for makeup school and I'm just concentrating on cheekbones and then going through the eyebrows she has beautiful eyebrows she don't really need a lot and I use my two in it uh, into it sorry into it eyebrow kit which I mentioned too many times in my videos and also setting it with a Sephora gel um, mascara for brow gel sorry gel eyebrow this is the way to just really set your eyebrows so that it won't go crazy because sometimes you know your hair can just go everywhere it be crazy here and also putting some beautiful blusher I'm going for a peachy it complements the skin tone it's really beautiful on her and just going over her cheekbones to make that more youthful look Okay, so then we had to do a hair. Hair is a bit tricky because she wanted um, extensions on. So I use clip-ons and this is a very, 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 very natural looking hair. I bought it at Sungai Wang. It's a, was, I think it was about like 68 ringgit. But it, re it was really good surprisingly. And um, it was really long so she really wanted long hair. It was the directions that she wanted to go in. And clipping it into place um, yeah, it was. It, it's really a really good thing. It's a really good hair because it really clips on and hangs on well. 
So goodbye, goodbye. And also, you know, to make everything blend together, you need to brush all your hair, your real hair, and also the extensions together, so it will look more um, uh, natural, and you know, so that people can see which one is your real hair and which one is your fake hair. So this is if you want to, um, because I already did hot rollers on the hair so that's why I had got a little bit of texture already I put mousse so I'm just um, back combing her roots of the top part because she wants volume so this was very fun for me it was so fun doing her hair because she really liked that va va boom look and you know I concentrate more on the crown um, back combing and then I just sprayed hairspray on it to give it a more oomph and I just wiggle hair and you know just comb it back And then adding some beautiful pink roses. It was such a beautiful touch because she was wearing a beautiful song cat. It was actually a mom's and everything was so romantic about it. I love her whole outfit and the pink roses just add a so it's somehow it's like so youthful. Like you know, sometimes on your wedding day you can look too old. But I think this is a good call to put the roses at the side because I side swept the hair and I just um pinned through some real pink roses through her hair and it was so so beautiful um, I was really proud for this kind of look because you know because Linda her face is quite um, young she doesn't have like quite a mature face so why would you want to hide that away you know it's always good to always try and like accentuate your beauty rather than making you like 10 years older it was so nice seriously I was so happy that she wanted this And of course, asking her to shake her head until you know it didn't drop. I was a bit worried about that, but it was okay. So this is a finished look. Beautiful. I added red lips to her. It's a Sephora lip cream stain. And beautiful. You know, she has that youthful look. Um, it's very swipe for Tunang. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that.